All right, let's take a look at some Hallam Wolf. Now, in the past, I've shown you how to play Muddy Waters, and we've done a lot of other blues stuff, but we haven't covered the wolf. All right, somebody asked me about the song, Asked Her For Water, She Gave Me Gasoline. It's a 1956 recording of Hallam Wolf, three years after he got back, or got into Chicago, after leaving down south. Now, Asked Her For Water is one of those songs that rocked my world when I was first getting into blues. Why? Because I couldn't stand it. Uh, when I first listened to the song, it sounded like everything was out of key. But it ate at me. Something, I wanted to get into this blues so bad that the song kept eating at me, so I had to keep listening to it over and over and over again. There's two guitars and a piano, all three of them kind of going counterpoint at each other in these strange polyrhythms, and they don't exactly sound like they all fall in the same tuning. They do, if you listen to it deep enough. The two guitars are Willie Johnson and Otis Smokey Smothers, and they, they're just playing against each other, but the main riff is this. <laughs> about that song is it never changes the key. The song stays in the same key the entire time. They never change chords. It's only one chord. Now, I'm going to give you this lesson. Right now my guitar is tuned in open G. The song is in open E. So for the main lesson we're going to learn it in open G. And if you wait till the end of the lesson, I'm going to show you how to take everything we learned here. We're going to retune this cigar box guitar to an open E, and then take it to where Hallam Wolf had it. So, okay, let's get into this. First of all, the lesson is brought to you by StubbySlide.com, where you can find my new book, Making Poor Man's Guitars, how to build exactly one like this, and all different kinds of other stuff. Check it out, StubbySlide.com. In fact, that's where you can find this. This is a King Slide. It's a King Slide, Stubby Slide. You'll kind of need it for this lesson. Because this is a lesson where we're going to be playing the strings in between and the slide isn't going to be the whole way across the whole time. No, we're going to be touching strings. In fact, I'm going to do this. Let me move my tuner away. I'm going to move this camera right here and you can even see. That's how we're going to be touching these strings is with the edge of this slide. And we're going to be right over top of the fret. In fact, I'll move it just like this so you can see it's right over top of the fret. Okay. Bam! The lick goes like this. Open on the low. Open and on the high. Open and three. So it's... close up and I'll move the guitar this way and the second part is middle string open three high string open three Congratulations, you just learned the riff. That's all it is. That's all the main riff is. And there's a, a couple variations. But that's basically it. Now, whenever they played the guitar part, it was on a six string guitar and they were using a lot of high strings. In order to get that high string sound, you can also play the same riff like this. And I'll give you a close up there. Boom! We're going to go low string open. And then high string on the 12th to the 15th. And then the middle string, 12. High string, 10. High string 12, high string 15, 
High string 12. Whole thing is like this. So there's that riff, and it's a fun riff. You can use it so many different ways. You can give it some swagger instead of just staying with the 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 monolith sound of Howl and Wolf. You know the original. You can go. Have fun with it. All right. Now, the cool thing about this, like I said, it was in the key of E. Now, I have this guitar strung with these. These are brand new uh, from CB Giddy, the Shane Spiel three string acoustic cigar box guitar string packs. And then on the back of them, it has different tunings, which means you don't need to stay in the key of G. These strings are tough enough to allow you to change different tunings. All right, so I just dropped my tuner. Let me put this back on. We're going to tune this down to an open E so we can play along. Well, I'm not going to play Howlin' Wolf's recording here or I'll get slapped with a copyright. But um, you can play along to the YouTube videos that you can find of this recording. So it's going to be tuned E, B, E. Take the first string down to an E. Second string down to a B. Third string down to an E. And then let's get all that tuned up and because the neck warps and everything always goes out of tune a little bit as you're changing these strings E B E a lot of people ask me what tuner I'm using in these videos and it's just a simple cheap clip-on tuner from CB Giddy I buy these like six at a time um, so that I can have one upstairs in my living room one in my one studio room one in my office and a couple for the gigs. They're cheap, they work great, and if the battery dies, you can get them at the grocery store. That's close enough. E B E. Even though we've changed the tuning, I've showed you how to play it first in the key of G. If you change the tuning to open E, move your slide in the same exact places, and you'll be playing in the key of E. There you go. Asked her for water, she gave me gasoline by Howlin' Wolf, 1956. The original guitarists were Willie Johnson and Otis Smokey Smothers. That's how you play it on a cigar box guitar. Have some fun with it. Mess around with it. If you mess around with that uh, low, open three, open three, open three, that's a blues scale. You can do all kind of stuff. <laughs> So my name is Shane Spiel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. Check out stubbyslide.com. That really helps support this channel. It's where you can find my new book and the slides. And here's a few more videos you'll want to watch as well. See ya.